So, what is the best form of exercise? Okay, I'm just gonna get right to it, guys. It's strength training. Uh, you might have guessed that just by going to our website, we're all about strength. Uh, however, I'm gonna give you guys some reasons why. But first, let's talk about all those crazy reasons why people don't think strength training is the best form of exercise. Number one, probably these two, actually one and two, these two will go hand in hand. One, they make you think, they, they think it's gonna make them look bulky, okay? Like it's suddenly gonna turn them into Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay? Uh, and for some crazy reason, people do not wanna build muscle these days. It blows my mind. Um, but the other part of that is people, thinks, people think that it makes them uh, more of a meathead, okay? They don't want to uh, 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 lose their social network because all of a sudden they start lifting weights and, and perhaps they may attract uh, more meatheadish type people um, and there are people that have different definitions of what that means actually. Um, another great reason that is more of a myth uh, is that people think that strength training leads to more injury or increases your risk of injury, which is crazy as we'll, we'll talk about a little bit later. Uh, the fourth one is it tends to intimidate people because they think it takes a lot of advanced skill to be able to do it. And that's definitely not the case because we'll talk about that in a little bit more. Uh, there are lots and lots of reasons that people do not think that strength training is the best form of exercise. Am I saying that other forms are not good at all? Absolutely not. Uh, please don't get that idea from this video or from this post. Uh, there are many other aspects of fitness that will help you reach whatever goal you wanna reach. But if you're looking for something to start out or you're looking for something that's gonna help you um, come full circle and help produce a better end result, whether it's fat loss or increasing your running speed or building more endurance, whatever it is, strength training is gonna be that best form. And there are five reasons why. The first one, which you may have a hard time reading, is it's functional. Um, I'm not gonna go into the whole like weirdness of the word functional, but when I say that, uh, all it means is strength training is based off of basic human movement patterns, okay? Uh, we squat when we're sitting down in a chair. We do a hinge or we hinge at our hips when we pick something up off the ground. Uh, we lunge, whether we're, we're climbing or hiking, whatever it is, it tends to be most when we're, we're hiking or crawling or anything like that. Um, we, we push, okay? When we push ourselves up off the ground, we gotta push something up into a high space and we pull. If we ever have to pull ourselves up off the ground or pick something up off the ground, whatever it is, so we got squat, hinge, lunge, push, pull. Very basic stuff. There are some gurus out there that, that believe there are more like carrying and rotating and all this stuff. Uh, I won't go too much into that, but it's very functional. Running, uh, it's functional for one thing, I guess, running. Um, and then we got swimming, it's functional for swimming. Uh, and then there are, there are other aspects like agility, it's just really good for agility. Uh, but strength training is very functional for your everyday life. Um, and I know we don't like deadlift 600 pounds on a daily basis and you know, overhead press double our body weight or whatever, but uh, it's a lot of fun and it's not something you necessarily have to do with strength training, but uh, strength training is, has a functional aspect that's not seen in other realms of fitness. The next one is it's very measurable. In fact, there are many ways that you can measure uh, your results in strength training. And we talked a lot about that in Strength Training 101, uh, but one, you can, you can notice that you're increasing the number of reps that you're able to do effortlessly, uh, increasing the weight on the bar or whatever you're using, increasing the number of sets, uh, increasing how many sets and reps you do in a given amount of time, increasing speed of reps, okay? There's lots of ways that we can show measurable progress with our strength training, and that's why it's so much fun. Uh, because there's not so much science to it. It's like, well, I just, I ran, and it took me five minutes to run that mile, and now I ran it again, and now I'm four minutes and 50 seconds, which is nuts. That's a really fast mile, by the way, the horrible example. But um, time ends up being one of the only things, uh, unless you really pay attention to your running economy and things like that. Uh, the next one is strength training is actually quite simple, especially if you stick to those five basic patterns that I talked about within the functional portion of my reasons why strength training is the best form of exercise. Uh, it's a lot more simple than people think, um, and, and I'll get more into that, you'll be seeing more blog posts, uh, but there's definitely 
uh, an aspect of strength training that people tend to think is very, very uh, complex. Uh, and it, it tends to push people away from strength training. But I'm telling you now, it is not that complex. If, if you think it's complex, just pick out a single movement that you like and just do that on a regular basis, whether it's squats, lunges, uh, push-ups, whatever it is, stick to that one thing, okay, and work on building it up. Check out our Strength Training 101 video if you wanna see how to do that. The next one, it improves everything else. Have you ever wanted to increase your endurance, power, agility, balance, and any number of, uh, of the other components of fitness, Strength training is the only one that I can actually improve in a positive way all of those other aspects of fitness. You cannot run to get better at strength. You cannot actually work on speed to get better at strength. Uh, you cannot work on balance. Well, I guess that one kind of works, but the key is strength actually works on improving all of these different components of fitness, which is why it's so dang cool. The next one, and the last one, number five. With strength training, you can both build muscle or lean muscle tissue for all of you people that want to get toned. Um, and you can burn fat at the same time. You don't need that crazy supplement that your best friend told you that you need. All you need actually is strength training and some good old fashioned hard work. Uh, strength training is going to do that. It's going to burn the calories that you need and it's going to burn those calories long after your strength training session, kid. It's going to help you burn some fat. Um, it's also going to start adding some lean muscle tissue to your body because your body needs to do something in order to adapt to the resistance that you're putting on it through the strength training. Okay. Um, the muscle building part is one of those things that it's not often seen in other aspects of training, especially with endurance type training or speed training, uh, endurance training, uh, which I just said again, I said it twice. I don't know how I say it, but, um, you, you can definitely lose fat during these other types of training, but the muscle building portion of it uh, isn't quite there as much as it would be with strength training. So I hope that I have uh, maybe intrigued you a little bit. Uh, if you do have questions, feel free to shoot them below and post them in the comments. I'd love to hear them guys. But these are the reasons why I think strength training is the best form of exercise and why it's probably gonna be the best choice for you. Um, and bottom line is, uh, if, if you're thinking about it and you're on the fence and maybe you're, you're intimidated by it, try doing one exercise and just stick into it for a few weeks. And I'm talking like four to six weeks and see how you improve. Uh, guarantee you'll start leaning out, you'll get stronger, you'll start building some muscle and you'll start feeling good. Uh, another reason people think it actually, one of those other myths was that it increases your chances of injury when in fact, Strength training is actually going to help add resiliency to your joints, your knees, your ankles, your hips, your back, shoulder blades, shoulders, elbows, wrists, okay? It's gonna add some resiliency to them and you're a lot less likely actually to get hurt because you've been working on strength training. And I see it day in, day out, those people that stick to it, they are the ones either a lot less likely to get hurt or if they do get hurt, it's usually not in the gym, it's doing something else, and they tend to recover a lot quicker than that person that is not strength training because they are, not only are they bad A, but they are resilient and they are tough, okay? Their body is so resistant to those kind of things, okay? And they can recover quicker than anybody else. That's all I got for you guys. Give strength training a shot. If you got any questions on it, please post your questions in the comments below. Take care, peace.